Welcome to Hoyt's Get Serious, Get Fit. I'm Dan Staten. Today I want to talk about how to make your archery muscles stronger. First thing we're going to showcase is two great movements to increase the whole architecture or network of back muscles that involve pulling back your bow. That makes up your rear delt, your lower traps, your rhomboids, and your major mover, the lats. First exercise is the Australian pull-up as well as strict or weighted pull-ups. Here's how to do those. All right, so here we are with one of my favorite movements for bow hunters. This is the Australian pull-up. I have a squat rack here. It's lowered to just a few feet off the ground. There's the bar. You can set this up anywhere. And what we're gonna do is work on our lats, our rhomboids, lower traps, rear delts. All these muscles that make up your bow hunting network. So you're not too wide. And we're gonna pay attention to our cadence or our tempo. Really wanna get our dividend on the negatives or when the muscle's lengthening. So my hips are just off the ground. Pull my chest to the bar and lower slowly. I'm gonna do 10 reps here. Chest to the bar, lower slowly. As you get better, you're gonna work on pulling yourself with your chest up against the bar for 30 seconds. Right here, keep your hips high. I'm using my hamstrings, my glutes, my core to hold myself upright, and I'm firing all those bow muscles, okay? Keep that bar even with your chest. Execute three to four sets, 10 reps, and work through this and make it progressively harder. The lower the bar is, the harder it is, the more muscles you'll recruit. Weighted pull-ups are gonna be your best bet if you're at that level. So this is a 20 pound weight vest. If you already have a weight vest and it's around your stomach, you don't need a weight vest. But watch your diet, get your cardio up and lose those unwanted pounds before hunting season comes. This pull-up is gonna be strict, meaning I'm gonna work on cadence or tempo. I'm gonna come up slow, pause at the top for a really strong, solid contraction. Whatever I can hold, five, 10 seconds, come down and try to do four or five reps three or four sets. Looks like this. So I'm gonna come up slow. I'm gonna hold. Muscles are shaking. Come down slow, this is where really muscles will tear. Full lockout and right back up slow. Do a few reps there, rest. Repeat. All right, so now that you've done your strength training component, it's time to make your practice session a little more perfect. Now, I know a lot of us go out to the archery range, only shoot when the wind is low, or only shoot when it's sunny out. Now it's time to make your training session a little more applicable. The beauty of archery is that it's an art. You have to get within archery range of that quarry. But more importantly than that, you have to pull this bow back without detection. So a lot of times that means pulling your bow back well ahead of the time of the animal getting into your shooting lane. This means you could be at full draw for 10, 20, maybe even 60 seconds. How many of us actually practice this? Very few. So today your first exercise or drill is gonna be pulling your bow back and holding it at full draw for 60 seconds. I actually want you to time it, then execute three shots. Then you can vary the distances and kind of figure out your effective range for this practice. The second drill is doing jump rope for 60 seconds, then shooting three arrows. Again, vary the distance. You can do single under jump ropes or double unders. Get your heart rate jacked, and then see if you can execute that shot. This will put you real close to that hunting situation. The last drill is very similar. You're gonna do burpees for 60 seconds, a basic calisthenic, and then execute three shots. Again, vary your distance, note your group. This sort of perfect practice coupled with specific strength training will keep your draw weight heavy, your groups tight, and get you much more prepared for that real situation when you're gonna be at full draw for over a minute, but you'll be ready to make it execute that 10X shot on that animal. 